واربعة شهر ألفين واربعة شهر أربعة يوم خمسة وعشرين شهر ثلاثة يوم خمسة وعشرين ده سبعة وعشرين ده نهين سبعة وعشرين ثلاثة سبعة وعشرين ثلاثة twenty seven March two thousand and four he arrived to the camp it was Janjaweed Janjaweed attacking us riding horses driving vehicles even planes aeroplanes they were bombing us so we had to run away we crossed the border we came to Chad we didn't expect that we find humanitarian agencies who take care of us at the beginning we stayed for a while with Uh, nothing, no assistance. When we had the attack uh, over uh, the village and fire was uh, everywhere, we uh, we ran away and then I took my children and we took a shelter uh, in, uh, we found some trees and we took a shelter there. And then it was the way uh, to move. We move uh, uh, little by little. We uh, we stay there. We stay first uh, in the place under trees, and we uh, and we uh, we try to find out if the road is, is safe. But then after that, uh, agencies they came and they uh, transported us. They created the camp. At the moment uh, of uh, flight, there was no chance to explain uh, anything. There was fire uh, everywhere, and people. Uh, were uh, running away so uh, which and then uh, my wife uh, was asking me what to do and uh, I had a donkey we had a donkey so I told her uh, just let's uh, take our stuff and the children and let's run with these people so we were all uh, scared uh, She <laughs> actually lived with he, her uh, husband. Her husband and, and children? Mm. We, yeah. How many children? I see. One, two, three, four. That's seven. Seven children. Oh, is it nine? Huh? Yeah, is that nine? Nine, Nine children. children. Yeah. Many. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these um, these houses are different because they're made of adobe, and they have like a straw roof to it. They look sturdy. They have some pipes going through the top. The oh, this is the kitchen where I keep the cooks. And I guess this is where the fire, where they make their fire. Yeah. There, there's a group of women in Los Angeles that. It, is doing what they can to raise awareness and let people know about Darfur, what happened in Darfur. And it's it's about 20 women, and their group is called 20 Women for Darfur, and that is the t-shirt that they, they made. 20 Women for Darfur. And uh, they want to make friends with women from this camp. Would Aziza want to be one of the friends of of uh, Leah, Leah is the the, the person that uh, started the group in Los Angeles. Leah, mm. Leah is her name, and and she wants to make friends. And Asisa would be perfect to be a friend with Leah. And it's just a, it's mothers and it's women that work. Some are married, some are not married. So it's different, but they just care as mothers, as sisters, um, as daughters about what happens to the women in Darfur. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. And um, I'm here just to encourage you. Um, God has given us a heart for you, and I just uh, love the fact that God kind of understands. No, we're not there, but to start the way that you can have to. Show the other people. Show the other women. She's thinking about her, and they are in her prayer, in their prayers. Um, she's going to have a meeting with women from this camp. Yeah and send a message Very to nice. the women in Los Angeles. Very nice. Look, <laughs> <laughs>
This is the camp where Akmak used to live back in 2005. Um, we heard that he went back to Darfur some time ago because he really wanted to keep uh, studying. Uh, there is no secondary education in these schools, so he risked his life to get back to one of the bigger towns in Darfur where there's still secondary education. Uh, we came looking for him and he's still over there. Uh, his mother and father are also left for Darfur and sometimes come back, um, but we found his grandmother. Uh, many young people in America met Ahmad through video in 2005. She told us that um, they, they used to live all together, that they, they lived all together in Darfur when there was peace, N not anymore. <laughs> My name is Ahmad. I have 16 years. Why did you have to come to? Oh, in the fall, happened a big problem. Uh, that problem not happened in the world. Here, Ahmad was telling us how how much he loved life in his village before the before the violence. Mm -hmm. That he liked uh, having a bicycle and playing football. She misses Ahmad so much. Yes, yes. yes. She said she misses him. Many many people saw Ahmad in, in the United States. And, and everybody, just because he's so intelligent and, and he's such a wonderful boy that everybody really liked him and they really care about him and they ask me and they want to know how he's doing and and they want to stay in touch with him. Oh, your name? Oh, Abu Abu. The American that road. Oh, Ahmad, he's working that road. Poor man, I hear. Poor Zeki left. Adam, yeah. God, I'm not saying that. He says, uh, if uh, if uh, if these people in USA they want Ahmed, uh, we can send Something. them oh. to them. <laughs> oh, the people in the US would love it. <laughs> he, would, he, he would be a great ambassador uh, for Darfur. Yeah. I come from Darfur state. Now I am refugee.